Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas, Vlogmas number 13. <laughs> Alright, so this is actually the same night as uh, day 12 of 12 days of Christmas, but I wanted you all to see what I'm doing with my chili. And it'll go into the next day because I was successful in merging the videos and ed not editing really, but just merging the two. So let's get started. Um, the beans are already done. I've already tested them. You can see that the water has gone down quite a bit, but the beans are nice and soft. I opened a can of um, diced tomatoes and um, I'm going to be using some of the tomato paste from the other night when I made the pizza. So I'm going to use about a third and then quite a bit of that. And then we'll put in all of the spices. So let me just do that and you guys can watch. All right, so I'm just gonna take the lid off. It's still on high. I'm going to add about a third of that. Let's see. Yeah, that's, so you can kind of see, it's only like a third left. I oh, can't really see. So I'm just gonna push that in there. This really needs to have a little bit more water in here, but we're gonna be adding the diced tomatoes. So I'm just kind of stirring it all up. I'm actually really hungry right now. I never had a taco or anything later in the day. I just had the piece of pizza with half a persimmon and some coffee, and that's all I've had. But um, I'm gonna have some tea in a little bit before I leave to go feed the cats with some fruits and nuts, dried fruits and nuts. Okay, that should be good. Now we're going to add, this is just diced tomatoes, nice big chunky pieces. I might add some water to this also, hot water from my kettle. I want to add approximately maybe about half of this. Mmm, it smells good already and I haven't put any spices in it yet. Some juice. Oop, I don't want to make a mess. It's actually hard to clean, oh gosh, it's hard to clean this um, stainless steel on the outside. I made a mistake and tried to clean it with non-stainless steel cleaner, like stick and stand. And it just keeps leaving streaks, really. So it's better just to clean it right away with water. <laughs> okay, let me add some more because there's still quite a bit left. I don't know if you could see it but let's not skimp. What would be good in this too are shredded carrots, but I, I don't have any more carrots. I, I used all my carrots up. I am gonna be going to the store. I have a gift card I need to use up. And, oh gosh, I'm gonna make a mess. Okay, so I use a little less than half the can. And I have one third left of that. And I'll show you all of this in a second, but it's really just the right consistency. So let me put in my spices. We're going to do garlic powder. And I'm pretty generous with the garlic powder. So all of this is to your own taste, so whatever you happen to like. This is onion powder. Oops. Now, let me give it a stir because I don't want it to make little clumps. Mmm, it smells good already just with that. Yummy. Okay, it's really storming outside, and I don't really want to go feed the cats, but I know they're waiting under the bushes for me. We're going to do <laughs> minced onion. Let me actually just open it because I want lots of minced onion. I don't think you can see that, but let me show you. Okay, stir that in. And I know they're hungry, you know, it's storming, but they're still hungry. So <laughs> I gotta go feed those poor little souls. I might put some more minced onion. Let me do that. 
Okay, then we're going to put in the rest of the spaces. So I'm going to do a little more. There we go. I love onions <laughs> so much. All right, then we're going to put a little bit of ground pepper. This is kind of a coarse pepper. Then we'll put in a little bit of cumin. All of this is to your taste because, you know, not everyone likes everything that I like. Oh, and then I like to put a little bit. Last time I put in a little sugar, and I never did that before, but I didn't like it. Um, it was too sweet for me. So I'm putting in a little cinnamon. That brings out the sweetness in the tomato sauces that I put in here. So that's going to be enough. Okay, we'll stir that in. Then... So there's going to be a, a other part of this video. I'm going to be making the wreath for my neighbor tomorrow. And I don't know if I'll take it over to her tomorrow, but I realized how I'm going to make it. And it was basically everything I had. And I got a free frame. Okay, let me open the smoked paprika. Yummy. I'm going to put a heaping, probably teaspoon. I can always add to it later. But just for now, that's good enough. Okay. Then the salt. Let me first uh, mix in the paprika. So this is really already nice and thick and chunky, and I'll show you in a second. Oh, it smells good already. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I don't even have crackers to eat with this. Um, I guess I've eaten them all uh, up because um, they do help settle my stomach when I was, you know, really having bad stomach issues. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of salt right now because I can always add to it, you know, uh, per bowl when I give myself a bowl of chili. And I don't want to overdo it because I think that's the worst thing is when you oversalt. Okay. I'm salivating right now, actually. Because <laughs> it looks so good. It smells so good. So let me show you. Yeah, that looks good. Really nice. Let me see. There we go. Yum. Oh, now i got to clean the crock a little bit because I don't want it to stain. Alrighty. I will put that aside. I'll put the cling around and put the lid back on. Two things I forgot. Parsley and some um, crushed red peppers. It's just not spicy enough. But I don't want to overdo it because last time I overdid it. Okay, that should be good. Let me show you. Mmm. It's all nice and chunky. So what I'll do is I'll just put it on low until I get back. And then I'll give myself a bowl. Oh, it looks so good. And <laughs> what I'm going to eat with it, you're going to be like, Lori, I know. But it's a week. And I don't have any crackers or anything. I don't even have bread. I need to go to the store. So let me clean this up and put the lid back on. All right, so the next time you'll be seeing uh, me is um, when I am probably tomorrow morning. And I'll show you the wreath that I'm going to be making. So this video might be longer, but I'm just happy that I can merge my videos and break them up. All right, guys, I'll be back. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so I'm back home from feeding the kitties, and I kept it um, on warm. It was already done, and I had put everything in. So it's just on warm. So all of the um, oils from the um, tomatoes kind of come up to the surface oh it looks so good it smells so amazing <laughs> look at the chunks i'm so hungry right now 
and I got so soaked when I was feeding the cats. Um, let me let's see. Hopefully, I don't spill this. Ooh, yum! Oh my goodness, it's nice and chunky. Wow, that's gonna be so yummy. I unplugged it because I don't need it to be plugged in anymore. I'll leave it out all night probably because it needs to cool down. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put some raw onion on top and a little secret ingredient because I don't have crackers. And I would like to have it with crackers, but I don't have it. <laughs> all right, so you'll see this tomorrow, but I'll be continuing the video. Um, this whole crock pot, of beans, chili beans, cost me one forty-eight. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. And I put some chopped onion on top and some french fries, frozen french fries. I didn't put ketchup because I really don't like ketchup a whole lot, but because this has a lot of tomato base in it, um, I feel like it's like ketchup. And then I love ketchup with mustard with all my french fries so the whole pot and i put this beautiful cut chopped onion on it the whole pot cost me a dollar 48 and that's like a many many meals <laughs> so this meal maybe cost me without the french fries let's just say in the onions just the chili itself cost me 15 cents maybe. <clears throat> Alright, let me taste it. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Oh my. Oh, it's hot. Ooh. Ooh, ha 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 ha. <laughs> it's hot. Wow. Oh my gosh. But now I'm going to take a french fry with it's like having chili fries really let me have one mm. they're just frozen fries from the dollar tree that i put in the toaster oven to get them crunchy ow 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 that's hot oh it's so good it's like um Chili fries. Oh, I forgot to add some cheese. Let me add a little bit of cheese. Oh my goodness. So good. So the chili itself, like this amount, costs about less than 15 cents probably. But I put some onion and some mozzarella cheese and my french fries. Mmm. Okay, you guys, you can see what you can do. With a little bit of money and Whole Foods, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. I don't want to keep um, doting on it, so I'm going to cut this video short right here, and I'll be back tomorrow morning with um, some new footage, but it'll be part of the same video. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Creative Lily here. Welcome, everyone. Okay, so this is actually day 13, um, 13th of December, so it's Vlogmas number 13. Just a continuation of from last night, because I wanted you guys to see my chili, which turned out amazing. So hopefully you liked it. Um, and you could always add meat to that, by the way. But now I'm making a DIY craft for my next door neighbor who has nothing on her door or any decoration. <laughs> So I think you can get these from the Dollar Tree. Um, they look very familiar to me. I got these free from my brother-in-law's aunt. She didn't need them anymore. Um, I'm going with this one. It has like little prongs, only because I want it to be a little bit thicker. So I already started working on it because I wanted to make sure this was gonna work. So I'm just using like a long strand of uh, craft paper that I get from like walmart.com amazon.com so i'm going to wrap all of that around and then hot glue it together then i will wrap some burlap ribbon and i have this little bit plus a nine foot amount 
or ro roll, bowl. I think they're called bowls. And um, I still don't think it's going to be enough. So I do have this one, but it's different. And I don't really want to do that. I might make a bow out of that one. But um, so I think I have this from the Dollar Tree. It's got like white fuzz on it. I don't know why. I think I had it on something. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to first wrap. Yeah, see, I had already used it. I'm going to wrap this all the way around first and then go over with this. So it'll kind of look like a candy cane, but with holly berry. And then I have some these. I had another one. I can't find the other one. Um, I'll just take off that one that has white right there. So I'll probably put that. I'll make a bow. I might add an ornament. But I think because it's going to go on the door, I have these from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm not sure what color I'll use. Uh, and I have this ornament also. But it looks kind of orangey. Well, it looks orangey on the camera, but it actually is just the same red as the burlap. So I might use that. And a little contrast is good. So we'll see. Let me get this whole thing wrapped up first, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm taking a little break from my packages and my soap making. It's a long process because you have to really keep everything very sanitary. So you can see my round, and I just kind of molded it around. And I think the burlap is going to work well. I'm pulling it taut. And that'll be good so that when the ribbon goes all the way around, if the red shows, we're good. And I'll maybe make it more like stripes. So let me finish with the red. I don't have a whole lot. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> but wherever I run out, then I can just um, put the bow where I've run out. You know, like if it's this section that I run out. But why I use the paper is because I didn't have greens. I didn't want to spend any more money. Um, and it bulked up the actual wreath itself, and it's just reusing an item that I already had for free. Okay, I found another roll. Yay! It has um, little fuzz on the end, I think because I don't remember what I did with it a couple years ago, but I'm going to pull all the fuzz off, and then we'll finish this off, and then I'll have enough total not crazy about the burlap on top just yet so I might have to just see it all together and I'll show you when I'm done with the red and that one also all right so I had um, I had found a little bit more of the burlap so I finished it off and then put the ribbon so I feel like um, this is probably the point where I'll put the decoration because it's a little thicker right here and I really think that the berries, if you can see it, they're a little too dark for the red. But it might be nice contrast, but I also have these baubles. Um, I can always do like the silver and the red and then maybe the little sleigh because it kind of all matches. So I think I might do that. I'll be right back. I'm just going to string these, the red ones, onto a... Um, what are these called? Pipe cleaner. I'll be right back. Okay, so I thought that, you know, twirling the burlap, not having a traditional bow would be nice, and I can all spread it out and, like, even glue it. It's fine. But then I thought, oh, this will be so pretty. You know, I'll put a couple silver baubles in there, a sleigh. But it doesn't look as good as... Let me take this down. I'll be right back. As this tinsel tree because it brings out all of the green and the ribbon and so I guess I'm gonna have to go with that one um, and I just put it on a pipe cleaner tied it around and I'll hot glue it down too because I like the length where it's at and then I'll put some curly cues of the burlap also somehow on the side we'll figure it out but I was so bummed and then I want to put some of these Maybe, um, I only have two silver um, that are fine. I think, let me think here. Oh, I have a, yeah, two silver that are okay and two are damaged. Um, no, three that are fine. <laughs> three that are fine. 
one, two, three, and then four red, but I want to kind of use like maybe all of them for an impact. So let's see, let me see what I can come up with. All right, so I went with just a bow of the same fabric. And then that's funny because <laughs> the little string on this ornament broke, so I had to tie it with um, red ribbon and I tied it around. Then I tied, I hot glued the bow and then I hot glued the little strands. I could even add to it and make it longer if I want to, but sometimes less is better. Um, and I do have three of the silver baubles that I think I'm going to hot glue in there. I couldn't string them because the tops broke off of them because I have had these quite a while. <laughs> Little does she know. So I think I'm just gonna put them like in the center of the bow, like one there, one there, like maybe one here, and then we'll be done. So let me try that and I'll be right back. But I think it looks cute. I like the green. Um, I like how it looks. It's cute, but I think it needs the bling of the baubles. All right, I think I'm happy with how it turned out. It may not be her style, but it's kind of just what I had. <laughs> and so um, I think the tree ornament is cute, and you can see it from the street on the door. And then these baubles, I secured them. I also tied another ribbon um, under the ribbon that I tied the bow to the wreath. So I'll probably hot glue that also. And that way she can hang it on a wreath hanger, or if she doesn't have one, then she can hang it on... Um, a command strip. Let me put the cutting board behind it so you can see it better. All right, there it is. It's a little bit rustic and country maybe for her, but it's just what I had, like I said. So I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, I wish I could kind of bring down the ornament a little bit more, but I think, oops, what is that? I think it's okay. You know, you'll be able to, it's shiny tinsel, so you'll be able to see it from the road. Same with the baubles. And um, it's a free gift. And if she doesn't like it, she can hopefully recycle it. All right, guys. I did hot glue the side. Um, like, I didn't dovetail them or anything. I just made the bow and put, I would have put more of the baubles, but I only had so many. Um, they were a little brittle, but I think it's cute. I think it'll be cute from the road, you know, from the sidewalk where you could see on her door. And like I said, it probably is not her style, but if she doesn't like it, she can re-gift it or she can recycle it. <laughs> but it only cost me, let's see, if you were to, it didn't cost me anything, but if you were to make it yourself, the wreath form... Definitely one full spool, the nine feet of the um, ribbon, this, because I had leftover on this and I had used some extra. So definitely one of these, get two just in case if you're nervous you don't have enough. And then definitely maybe one and a half of the red burlap, which I just happen to have, um, but get two just in case. Just use whatever. I mean, you saw what I had. I didn't have much. I just had a wreath form. I put the paper all around, which was free. I already had everything else. I've had those baubles for like 10 years probably, and I used to use them outside. Um, and then that little tree ornament, I think I got like three years ago from the Dollar Tree. And I think it's cute. It's cute on the door. It'll be cute on the door, I should say. I'm going to um, hot glue a little bit more just to secure it. But she can hang it, like I said, with a command strip or um, a command hook. Or she can, you know, if she has like a wreath hanger. I don't have any extra wreath hangers. I don't know where they all went. But I think it's cute. It's just the idea of, you know, holly jolly, good vibes, <laughs> you know, thinking. Because I would have made her some cookies and marmalade. But she, I know, she wouldn't eat them because she's very particular and especially during COVID, there's no way it would just have gone in the trash. So I'd rather make her something that maybe she might like. Um, 
I mean, normally when she drives, even before COVID, she would wear a mask. So she's very, you know, particular. Or I know I shouldn't say particular. Maybe more of a germaphobe than me. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you liked this. It's kind of a long video, but today's the 13th. It's raining really hard. I have to go feed the kitties. And um, my packages, oh gosh, I still have so many. I'm still making soap. But I'm hoping that all of you will understand. And then we'll go out tomorrow. So I made this like within five minutes, 10 minutes at the most. I had to take a break from the packages. So, all right, guys, I will see you all later. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can share with me what you've done for a neighbor. And, um, she never gives me anything. I give her stuff, but I've never received anything from her. So it's just like, you know, it's just like an act of like Christmas good vibe and just being neighborly. That's all. And she's a nice one, so I don't mind doing that. Bye, guys. Let me know if you like it. Bye-bye.